This is the Universal Data Tool Community Update number four. We have a bunch of exciting things, uh, starting with this awesome new homepage. Uh, so yeah, we have a homepage. Nice. We're introducing this new feature, uh, Universal Data Tool Courses. So um, if you've ever uh, sent a data set to a team of labelers or maybe even your internal team, you might have noticed that uh, nobody was labeling the data set in the right way. UDT Courses is a way of making sure that everybody labels with the same quality criteria and the same ideas about the definitions for the classifications and whatever else is part of your data set. It's super easy to use. You can just hit uh, create a course and drop a data set in. You can use either of these data sets. And now we're creating a course and you can edit markdown about the course, um, create questions, create uh, tests and exercises for the data set. So I can select a couple samples, edit the solution. When I do the test, I can put in an answer. And if I get it wrong, it'll tell me that I got it wrong. So this is an exercise. It'll tell me to try again. So this helps to get everybody on the same page. Also, people completing the course can put in their uh, contact details so you can see all the people who have passed and you don't need to sign up to use it. So hopefully this will help you train your labelers for your data set annotation. The Universal Data Tool itself has got some great updates this week. When we hit new file, uh, we've completely changed this um, sort of the layout of the setup page. So now you select, you configure, um, you preview all in separate screens. There's a handy way to get to the JSON up here and the advanced is now in a separate screen as well. So people were telling us that that screen was super cluttered. Um, hopefully this helps to declutter it. It's still not the most beautiful looking thing, but, uh, but at least it's clear uh, what's going on a little bit more. We now have a new interface called text entity relations. This was one of our missing pieces in natural language processing. So now I can draw labels between uh, items and we can make this a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so I added a couple relationships just to make this more interesting and show the, show the routing of these arrows. This will work across multiple lines as well. Uh, and you can also do named entity recognition while you're in here if you want to. Um, so that was a big missing piece of our uh, natural language processing capabilities uh, or the interfaces to use that kind of stuff. So happy to have that. This one is sort of small. Now when you're doing image segmentation, we uh, added a download masks button. Um, a lot of people were wondering how to download the masks to get those colored uh, boxes out like you see here because a lot of people want these as images before they put it into their machine learning system. So you can get the masks with a one line command just like that. Um, we want to uh, do the processing in browser, but uh, it turns out it takes a long time. But this command line utility will give you a nice progress bar um, and give you a bunch of PNGs as output. Um, on this readme, there's more details about how this works and more command line parameters, such as if you want to number the samples and uh, and stuff like that. It can also be used as a uh, as a library. I almost forgot too. Uh, we we have this little button. I I guess my face was in the way. We have this little button down here, and it lets you give us feedback or even report bugs with an include screenshot. So this is really cool. Um, if you if you see something unusual or uh, or if you just want to indicate where there's something annoying or anything like that, uh, feel free to drop us a screenshot and your thoughts. Um, and thanks to uh, the creator of Mufet um, for creating this open source little uh, feedback thing. I'll leave this in the description, but this is the Mufet project. Uh, really cool project. Excited to. Uh, be one of their early users, I think. As usual, if you're interested in contributing, uh, check out our contribution guide. Uh, there's a video down here that'll help you get started. Yeah, if you have any ideas for issues, feel free to drop them in here. We love to see new feature ideas.